Recently I came across a TikTok on my For You page and thought it was pretty creative. It's called Shadowology. Now the name makes it seem more scientific than it actually is, but basically it's the process of turning shadows into drawings. The master and creator of this is a guy called Vincent Bao. He's a Belgian filmmaker who posted his first ever shadow piece back in 2016. And so with his inspiration I got started and it honestly took ages before I could think of anything to draw. It was definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. At this point I realised my bedside light wasn't that great. It was just fidgety and not really working in my desk setup. So to put my own twist in Vincent's shadowology stuff, I decided to do it digitally. So I started taking photos of shadows in my paper, around work, and even looked through some past photos for any shadows I could use. I'm going to be using this app to draw up everything, and while I'm showing you my progress, I'm going to talk about sleep. Bit random, but fuck it, you might find some of what I say helpful. The shorter your sleep, the shorter your life, so getting consistent, good quality, metamorphous type sleep should be a top priority, or at least something you look at and proven. Everyone knows that poor sleep usually results in some sleepy squints and makes you kinda moody, but consistently getting bad sleep results in a lot more than that. It impairs your ability to think, learn and remember, weakens your immune system, increases your stress levels and raises your risk of obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Basically, it makes you feel horrible and more likely to make mistakes. Now, there are a few people among us that are completely fine with 6 hours of sleep a night, but the chances of you having that extremely rare gene is unlikely. Most people need to aim for 7-9 to nine hours a night. Now let's talk optimization. Every night after brushing your teeth, you should have some sort of wind down routine. And I know everyone says that, but everyone says it for a reason. During your wind down routine, you need to avoid any mental work at least an hour before bed. So get into the habit of watching an episode of a TV show or reading a science fiction book before going to sleep. I'm extremely bullish on the idea that going to sleep and waking up at the same time every day is the best thing you can do for your sleep quality. Doing this helps regulate your body's internal clock which, don't know, that helps. You fall asleep quicker and wake up feeling fresher. Finally, avoid eating at least 2 hours before bed. Your body will find it much easier to fall into a deeper sleep when it's not working hard to digest all the food you've just ate. Obviously, it's completely fine to occasionally get bad sleep. Sometimes during holidays or after becoming parents, bad sleep is unavoidable. However, if you're at a stage in your life where you have the opportunity to improve your sleep, it's 100% worthwhile doing a deep dive on. Anyway, this is the final shadow drawing I've done. What animal is it? I have no idea, but it sort of fits with this teddy bear-esque cow I took a photo of last year.